opportunity for Wasil Jimo to score his goal number five of the season. One of his goals against the MFM was from the sport. Now he comes again. All his goals are from uh, open play, I should say. But a chance for him to score from the sport. Wasil Jimo, it will be his goal number five of the season. If he puts it behind the net of the goalkeeper Sunday Rotimi. Here he comes. Wasil Jimo! Great goal from Wasil Jimo. And the Chile Stars are going to lead. Wasil is the fifth of the season. He was a thunderbolt of a short and goalkeeper stood no chance, no atom of chance at all for goalkeeper Sunday Rotimi. Great goal, great penalty taken by Wasil Jimo. In fact, before Sunday Rotimi could lift his foot, the ball was nesting in the net as Wasil Jimo yet again scores to make it goal number five this season. That's the blast. Instead, he took it wide to the goalkeeper's right, while the goalkeeper went left. Oh, sent him the wrong way. That balloon of a shot could even have turned that net. He's now on five goals. Same with Antonio Botu of Lobby Stars. As a man of the moment for shooting stars, I see you, Jimo. With eight points and rated lowly in the league, they want to surely up that. And they started this team like a team that really in the need of three points. They are first to almost every ball. A shot comes. A shot from Wasil Jimo. Nice uh, football, nice team game. Ajani Ibrahim, what a one touch it was for him. And of course, uh, Wasil should have just taken it easy and had a better shot. You saw how hungry Wasil there. Passed the ball, they were always first to every ball. He spinned it, unfortunately, the technique wasn't too bad. From about 12 yards, that was. In all of these goalkeeper, Tekka Melaye, pretty angry with defenders. Why are all of you game watching? He had the position to slide that ball, you didn't. He lobbies uh, for shooting stars uh, against perspective in their 18-yard box. Every first ball is supposed to be nodded out or punched out, but they were poor at that. But in all of this, Melai's reflexes were superb, effective in their 18-yard box. Every first ball is supposed to be nodded out or punched out, but they were poor at that. But in all of this, Melai's reflexes were superb, and he made sure he punched that ball off Wasiu for a corner kick. Ajia. Douglas bit into it, a chance for shooting, and here it comes! Take him a light to the rescue, and it's goal number two for shooting stars. The owner 23 Nigeria International. Well, I simply do not understand why Dadebo Samson kept stumbling on the floor. He had a golden opportunity to make sure. In this occasion, we saw cleverly Moses, I will talk, Take him a light coming to tap that ball. But why was he stumbling? Dadebo, I simply do not know. He had all the opportunities world to have booted this ball out to danger. For me, no blames here for goalkeeper Teka Melai, who came in to narrow the angle. Because he had his right hand to that ball, but when... And this is... Oh! That was a terrific shot coming from Wasil. Wasil, Jim the substitute. Now, what about that vision on the part of substitute Wasil, Jimo? As soon as he won possession, he looked and discovered that goalkeeper Femi Olufemi Kayode was not in goal and went for a love but very agile Olufemi punched that ball for a corner kick six balls counter attacking team should it start and that is our first goal of the afternoon fumbling goalkeeper Yeyami has fumbled that one and has given shooting stars the opening goal very early Celebration time for shooting stars at Sports Club of Ibadan. It was you, Jimo. The goalkeeper will rule this one. It wasn't going uh, to be that kind of goal, that kind of ball you expect to beat uh, James Ayeyemi, but then he just fumbled it. He wasn't quite expecting it. And was you, Jimo, has punished him. Early, early goal for shooting stars. Now, it's a cardinal scene for a goalkeeper not to have backed up a ball from off field like that. We saw Papa Tunde Bright, a big player like he is. He likes to hold up play, as you see on this occasion, and drop it on for this bullet of a shot. Something that James Ayemi will have covered all the way. But then he didn't block the ball, and he slipped through him. He will not be happy with his performances if he gets to watch this all over again. And the former Quara Academy graduate, Wasil Jimo, scores the first goal of the day for 3 s injury. Just two weeks, just before the start of the season, pre-season. So for that, he just started training. Should it start as a tearing away again?
what a goal there. The goalkeeper simply not his day. That was a fantastic goal. It was something that looked uh, very speculative, uh, but then the goalkeeper was in wilderness and I tried uh, so much uh, to stop that ball uh, from going in and uh, he just couldn't. And Jimo it is, uh, his brace uh, today, it shouldn't start up 2-0. Two goals for Jimo. Well, no, Jim Olukokun tipping the ball back to was he also the goalkeeper off his line and he's had to chip goalkeeper James Ayami all the way. Like I did say, Ayami is having a terrible day at the office and on a bad day, things simply just would not go your way. That's what is happening. As the former Quara Academy graduate, he's having a wonderful day here today. Two chances, two goals. He's taking himself toward the goal scorer's chance alongside the likes of Tony Obotu and Frederick Obomate of Rivers United as joint top. That's coming forward again. A chance coming for Shirin Stars for number three. It is three. Wasu Jimo's hat trick is complete. What a day, what a story for Wasu Jimo. Hat trick in 35 minutes of the first half here. Wasu Jimo of uh, Captain's Day with a beautiful hat trick. And it's getting worse for MFM. Terrible marking on the part of MFM. But on this occasion, he showed power, he showed pace and precision in muzzling his way to that 18 and jabbing the ball past James Ayayami, talking about Wasi Ujimo. A wonderful day it's been for him. Very poor defense. Relukbe against Jimo. Now they now know the danger he poses. So no more chances to be given freely. As Bashiru Monsuru tackling very hard. Bashiru Monsuru it was who bumped into hat trick hero was you Jimo on that occasion. And for Jimo. Scores on Nigeria. Wasiu is the player who's going to come on and he's going to. Well, Wasiu Jimo plays for Aquara Football Academy, 18 years of age. Back from Bello. It's a good spell for Senegal, but they need to turn the to the right hand side. There's a good chance for Nigeria. Can they finish this off? Puts it on his left boot. Oh, it should have gone in from Wasu. Did everything right, but his, his shot was really not good. You can just see how the ball bobbles a little bit on this pitch here in Dakinapan, of course, but they're in a very good position. 3-1 up with just over six minutes to go. And I think we're not going to see another goal. Oh, well, maybe we will, but it's at the wrong end for Senegal. And uh, the attempt to try... Is another the second change to Nigeria now, and it's Bulwa on hints of handball there. Well, I see you.
and uh, that's uh, the shot from the free kick over the wall, but straight at the goalkeeper. Good strike from Wasiu Jimo. Got it over the wall, but our fellow Kai, all his years of experience coming to bear there, he stood his ground. Where well, the corner count tells you that the flying eagles are edging the attacking play. And that was straight, possibly, because he got to the ball as well first uh, before he took out the man. On the ball, they've been more confident, and here they come again. Yes, sir, and that's the free kick straight and parried out uh, by uh, fellow Kai, but he got it at his. But uh, a fellow Kai keeping the score down to just one, well, he nearly spilled that. But uh, we was on to it in a flash. An own goal by Musa Mohammed, sandwiched between strikes from Suleiman Abdullahi and uh, Taiwo Awoni. Where they, are, they go, they have a way of exploding into. Young man who was rolling around a second ago, uh, but this is a free kick now. Looks like a dangerous one driven there, and uh, I felt like I had to get hands on that. He'd put shot again by Zahradin Belo and the flying eagles. This is a super forward ball. Will he get to do the business? He's driven himself. Come around the keeper. That should be a penalty, and it is a penalty. Wonderful movement. Wonderful movement by the Flying Eagles, the Flying Eagles, and a fellow Kai. Well, his defenders were beaten. But uh, was you, Jimo, full credit to him. He kept running. He, his first touch was actually a poor one, but he kept after the ball, and he was closer to the ball than the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper had a choice. He could have let him go, but he did not. Look at that again. Well, a fellow Kai, of course, thrust uh, the sprightly attacker was on goal. Uh, the player just coming in for Kano Pillars is God's power and near Fiocca, and that's the ball driven in there. A very dangerous one. Uh, well, I can tell you that's not the only reason he was booked. He did dive earlier. The referee saw him and pretended he didn't, but this time the referee thought it was once too. Clearly, he knew what he was doing all the way through. <laughs> and, uh, like you said, Kaleti, well, that comes the free kick now. It's rolled in a beautiful one, and it is connected has been the least attacking halftime since the tournament commenced. Just the one shot from each side, and both of them on target. Both could have opened the scoring. We hope for better uh, in this second half. Road forward and a great header. Oh, what a goal that was. Captain Fantastic once again. In the first half, this time it failed spectacularly. I mean, I think it's poor positioning uh, from Okemu tell that that wasn't the strongest header I've seen, but uh, you can see it was so far away.